for coming today. Yeah. So, would you please invite me to your party? The two of us will be heading to Delta Submissive Tragedy's Thousand Oaks. I didn't bother you. If you think you're bothering me, don't send me an email in the first place. <laughs> this is one of my very favorite areas. The moon tonight looks even prettier than usual. Prettier than usual? Yeah, right. Come on. I mean, this is just an online game. Now then, let's go find the beast statue.
This'll be quick! this a robot? Course unknown, fuel insufficient, function shut down, emergency landing, passing life form detected, begin fuel request, beep! Hey bro, be a bud, give me some chip sphere please! of the name Moon Tree comes from... Not interested. Now, now. It won't hurt you just to listen, will it? Moon Tree is run by a council of officers known as the Seven Council. You remember who Sakaki is, right? He is one of the officers. Man, I don't have time for this. Hey, Haseo, wait! Please wait!
that was nothing. It's my turn. That's that, I guess. Be quick!
We've got what we came here for. We're going back to the town. Huh? Hey. Um... Haseo? What? I've already heard enough about Moon Tree Guild. Haseo, do you... do you hear something coming from over there? Uh, nope. That can't be right. See? There is something there. Let's go find out what it is. Huh? Why do I have to go too? Just go check by yourself. Oh, come on. Won't you please come with me? Fine, fine. If it'll shut you up, I'll go with you. Thanks! It's this way. Strange sound. Let's go see what it is, Haseo. What a strange sound. Listen to that. You can hear something coming from over there. Huh? What is it, Haseo? This sign. It's Triage. Sucked towards Triage's sign. Ah! Where? Are we in the lost grounds? Wow, look at this underground lake. This might just be a fantastic new discovery, Haseo. That guy. What's up with him? Well, let's go ask him. <laughs> Wait, please! It's dangerous! Stop! Uh, uh, what? What are these? 
disguise. All done. You two okay? <coughs> uh, it doesn't seem like I'm very welcomed here. Well, whatever. Hey you, over there, are you okay? to me what do you mean what happened I think I was attacked by a strange monster then I heard a loud sound that startled me and uh, I don't remember anything after that what the did she faint in real life too at any rate I'm glad I got here in time who are you who me Oh, I'm, uh, well, I'm an investigator for CC Corp. One of the system administrators? A game master? Well, something like that. I got a report about a bug in this area, and so I rushed right over. So, that monster was actually a bug? Right. It would probably be best to stay away from here until the data finishes repairing. No. There's no way in hell that was a bug data. How could a player faint from something like that? Not to mention, what was that... that giant puppet thing that defeated the monster? Puppet? So, you were able to see the Avatar. Avatar? That's right, Mr. Haseo, the Terror of Death. Do CC Corp investigators usually remember a player's nickname? Hardly. I couldn't help but think it was too much of a coincidence to meet up with you here. What? Nothing. Just talking to myself. I bet that you would like to know a lot more about avatars. Am I right? Not really. You can use one too. Huh? The fact that you were able to see my avatar means that you and your character have the right attributes. Haseo, your character hides something. There is a dangerous power inside you. Come on. Come over to our headquarters and you'll see. And while you're at it, you might be able to get some info on Tri-Edge. How did you... Who told you about that? Like I said, that's just one more reason why you should come. Like this is a big fiasco. How can you just brush off something that happened to you like this? What's what's wrong, Haseo? Why are you acting so scary all of a sudden? If we hadn't been lucky, you'd have. No, it's nothing. Oh, okay. But I caused you a lot of trouble with what happened, right? So you realize it. I'm sorry. Um, do you think that you could give me another chance? Listen, the next time you invite me, make it somewhere where we can level up.
CC Corp. There's a good chance they'd know something normal players wouldn't. No matter how insignificant it might be, as long as I can get some information on Shino and Tri-Edge, I don't care. Kuhn's waiting for me in the mercenary district. I'd better hurry. I'm supposed to meet Kuhn in the mercenary district.
Hey there, Haseo. Ah. What? What's with the scary face? You mad at me or something? Nothing. Just hurry up and take me to this raven place. Um, you don't like me, do you? Get real. Okay, so, let me explain it to you. The at-home is a specialized room that each guild has in the game. And guilds are comprised of individual players that form their own group. To put it simply, a guild is like a baseball team, and at-home is like the team dugout, where everybody hangs out while playing the game. Ah. But it doesn't matter to a solo player like me. Let's go. Hold it. Actually, it does matter to you. Listen, buddy. To get into At Home, you need a pass called a Guild Key for that guild. So, here you go. Take it. Alrighty, let me officially welcome you to our guild, Raven. Haseo, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> You're the old hag from the other day! <sighs> huh? You two know each other? Of course not. <laughs> this is Pi. She's a member of Raven like me. And Pi, this is... I get it now. So that thing the other day was all just to invite me here. Well, get this, Granny. You can try to seduce me, but old hags don't interest me. I get the creeps just picturing you in real life. What? Get this guy out of here right now, Coon. I don't care if he is a chosen one. We can't leave our task to someone like this. Unfortunately, Pi, I'm afraid that decision is up to Yata. Yata? There's no need to involve Master Yata What's a yata? A person? You be quiet. Kuhn, I'm sure that you can understand. Yes, he's here. What? Alone? Are you sure? But sir, he's... I understand. Come with me. Master Yada will see you now. What is this place? It's pretty bleak, that's for sure. Welcome to the Serpent of Lore, Haseo. It took you quite a long time to get here. I've been waiting for you. Are you the Yata that Kuhn and the Hag were talking about? Nice setup. So, is this an administration-only area? I've heard of them, but I didn't know they actually existed. You sure it's all right to let a regular player like me in here? Won't your boss get mad at you, Mr. Admin? Nice to meet you, though it feels very strange to be saying that to you. I have been watching you for quite some time. Huh?
There has been a development in the world that defies the system parameters. One of the effects, or perhaps I should say targets of that development, is that there are a variety of phenomena manifesting in the world. You yourself have experienced one of these developments, the forced reformatting of your character data. You have been spying on my... on Haseo's past! Who in the hell gave you the right to... You are the one who called me an admin, right? To administer means to observe, to protect, and to manage. Both Triage and the phenomena that happened to you are under my administration. We have only upheld the obligations of our job. <sighs> a bug that is not a bug. Ideally, that kind of phenomena would never exist in the world. But, as you can see, it indeed does exist. Our overall designation for this phenomena is Ida. Ida? Huh? For now, none of the general users of the game know anything about it. That is somewhat to be expected at its current level. However, you have already encountered it, and you have seen firsthand the sort of threat and danger it possesses. You have seen it and experienced it yourself. Triage. The name of the skill he had used on you is called Data Drain by us. Data Drain? Whatever it is, I've never heard of a skill that can actually lower your lep. You already understand what I am referring to, that Triage is a phenomena that defies system parameters. You mean Triage is Ida? Perhaps. We cannot deny the possibility. Don't give me that! How the hell could an admin not know a single reason for a bug's existence? Investigating a bug that's not a bug is difficult. Likewise, we are also investigating what happened to the character known as Shino, as well as her player. Uh, what? So, you guys knew all along that the real-life Shino is in a coma? We would like to try and understand what the connection is between an online PK and a player becoming comatose before this little problem of ours has time to become public knowledge. Uh, what are you talking about before it becomes public knowledge? Are you just trying to cover it up for yourselves? It's all your fault that she know that she's gone. I'm afraid that is not true. It is not our fault that she became comatose after the incident. The one that injured her, as well as the one that leveled you down, is Triage. Isn't that correct? You guys are responsible for letting it happen! Then, are you saying that we should have shut down the game entirely? I do not believe so. After all, the key that is needed to solve the riddle of Ida, Triage, and the comatose players is right here in this game, the world. We share a common interest. Are you telling me to cooperate with you? I don't get it. How is my cooperation gonna help you guys out? It's simple. The only thing we want from you, Haseo, is the power that is hidden inside of your character. Your character was especially created by CC Corporation for their past project. Power project? You mean my character is somehow special? That's correct. You are a chosen one. Uh huh? Characters like yours are known as epitaph users. Kuhn and Pi are epitaph users as well. That hag! At this point, the only ones capable of combating Ida's are you epitaph users. So this character's one of them, huh? This better not be some really elaborate new event or something. In other words, you're telling me that you guys need me to help you with debugging the game, right? 
As I made clear to you earlier, we want nothing more than to contain these unruly phenomena. And the only things that can do that are, in fact, the avatars. And avatars are an epitaph user's power, right? Yes. But I don't know how to use anything like that. That is because your avatar has not awakened yet. So then basically, I just have to learn to use that puppet thingy. If I can learn to use that, then I can go up against Tri-Edge. Shino. If I help you guys out, I'll be able to use those avatar things, right? Of course. It would be rather troublesome for us if you could not. Sure thing. I'll help you out. But I won't take any orders from anyone. Understand? That is my only condition. Wait! It's dangerous for a player like him to gain that kind of power! Master! <laughs> He's telling you to be quiet, you old hag. Why are you using a player like him? His avatar would have eventually awakened, with or without our help. You must already know that. As you can see and feel, his epitaph has already started to awaken within him. I heard you've joined GU. Glad to have you with us. GU? Oh, didn't Yata explain it to you? The guild name that we use, Raven, is just a front. What our group is really called is GU. What's that? I heard it was a project name for CC Corp or something. Whatever. I don't care. I just need you to hurry up and tell me how to summon my avatar. How to summon the Avatar, huh? Come on already! I'm in a hurry here! <laughs> Sorry, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but... Are you thinking that there's some specific spell to summon an Avatar? There's not? Nope. But if there were, we would have it a whole lot easier. Okay then, how do you summon yours? Hmm, well... I think it would probably be better just to show you while we're out adventuring. Wouldn't you agree? Then let's go. It doesn't matter what area it is, right? Well, yeah, I suppose that's true. But, unfortunately, I've got an appointment to keep. I'll be sure to contact you later. Hey, wait! Damn it. What the hell? <sighs> oh well. I guess I'll just head on back to town then.
Are you having fun running into me? <laughs> what? Please, help me! First, get off of me! Move! Now what do I do? I mean, I was supposed to open up the shop together with Syllabus! But when we finally went to open the shop up, there wasn't close to being enough inventory in our storage. What are we gonna do? There's no time left! What should we do? Our customers will be here any minute now! Are they rare items? No... I need to restock on... Let me think... 10 black beans... And 10 almond jelly... 10 Asian mangoes... And 10 caramel sauces... Yeah... I think that's what we're missing right now... Aren't those sold in other shops? Just buy some and sell them yourselves. Oh, you're right! Then... 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 Haseo, come on! Help me buy all the supplies that we need! Huh? Why do I have to help you? Here's the money, Haseo! I said I'm not doing this! Oh, come on, Haseo! You go buy and deliver the Asian mangoes and the caramel sauces to Syllabus when he gets here in the Central District, okay? Great! Thank you so much for your help! Are you kidding? How did I get involved in all of this? Ah, the hell with it. I guess I'll help them out. Just this one time. Let's see... I need 10 Asian mangoes and 10 caramel sauces. And then give them to Syllabus in the Central District Town Square when he gets here.
Got him! Thanks a lot for helping us out, Haseo. Once Gaspard gets here, we'll be all set. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, I guess you've never done it before. Done what? Well... Manage a shop. Want me to explain how it works? Not really. Come on, Haseo. I think it would be good for you to learn what normal players do. Well, anyway... Gaspard sure is taking his time shopping for all of this. I wonder what's up with him. Hmm? What? It's a short mail from Gaspard. Apparently he got lost. Man, could that guy get any dumber? I've got to go find him. Let me tell you, I'm not moving an inch. Great. See you when I get back. Huh? Will you do me a favor? Watch over the shop while I'm out there looking for Gaspard. D don't be ridiculous! Just go ahead and close it down while you're gone! I can't do that. Our best customers will be here soon. So what? Just leave me out of this. You don't have anything to do, right? Or are you just afraid of dealing with the customers? What? Like hell I am. You'll be fine. Manners are very important even online. Remember to greet them properly. What am I, a preschooler? See ya. I'm off to look for Gaspard. How did I get stuck doing this? Excuse me? <clears throat> well, welcome! Dusty Miller, do you think you might have any here? Um, let's see. It looks like we've got just one. It's 6,000 GP. Hmm? So? What? Do you want it or not? Oh, yeah, sure. But I don't have enough money for it. You don't? Then I can't sell it to you. I was asked to watch over the shop, you know. I've got to do the job the right way. Oh. If you want something, you'll have to save up for it. I did save, but oh, it looks like it's all gone now. Your money's gone? Hey, don't you even remember how you spent your own money? No, I don't know. After all, it was Saku's turn up until yesterday. What? Saku's turn? Saku is my big sister. And, well, Saku was the one who was using this character yesterday. So then basically, you and your sister share that character by taking turns playing. Yeah. And you're telling me that your sister used all of the money that you had been saving up to buy it. What a great sister. No, really. It's fine. I was just gonna buy her a birthday present with that money anyway. It's no big deal. Birthday? Yeah, you see, we're twins. So, it's actually my birthday as well. Your birthday, huh? Fine. Then I guess I'll give you a discount. Oh, really? Yeah, and give my best to your sister. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, uh, by the way, my name is Bo. Uh, I, I promise that I'll pay you back the next time I come here. Uh, okay, Haseo?
So she's Saku and he's Bo. So Saku and Bo, huh? Hello! Welcome to. It's you. Well, this is unexpected. I never would have thought that you'd do these kinds of things, Haseo. <sighs> but your smile and the greeting that you gave to that boy was perfect and natural. <sighs> Maybe you work in a retail store in real life, or like at a video rental place or something. Jeez, you're annoying. If you're not gonna buy anything, shut up and get lost. How rude. I will buy something. I'll be sure to make my contribution to the shop acorn. I wonder why I'm not the least bit excited about that. Hey, so what do you recommend? See? Not bad, huh? Guild shops have a pretty decent selection to choose from. Wow, you're totally right! And everything's so much cheaper here than it is at the NPC shops! To be honest, I didn't really want to bring you ladies here. Aww! Why not? Because then your eyes and attention will be rooted to something else other than me. And I just can't help but try and monopolize your beautiful eyes for as long as I possibly can. Oh, Cooney! Now don't worry about anything. One thing's for certain, I only have eyes for you! Please, don't look at me with those passionate eyes of yours. If you keep looking at me, with such a beautiful gaze like that, I just know that I'll be forever b b <clears throat> bound to you. <laughs> yo, Haseo, long time no see. What do you mean, yo, you jerk? You sure look like you're having fun with the ladies there, Cooney. Oh no, this is just... well... I've got an appointment to keep. Did I really say that? While you are off flirting with all of those women, I have been stuck here in this shop. I've been... Kuni! Hurry up! Let's go play already! It's the Guildmaster! Wow, Kuni! You're really popular, aren't you? Um... yeah... Okay! I'll email you guys and girls later. Okay, see you then. Hey! So, Kuhn used to be part of your guild and he was the guild master. Our guild name, Canard, comes from the stabilizer wings on airplanes. Actually, we chose that guild name because we thought it really represented Kuhn's dream to support first-time players of the world and help them relax and enjoy it. When I got lost, it was Kuhn that helped me. He was the one who rescued me. He taught us lots of ways to enjoy the game. I mean, you know how they say that the beginning to anything is key, right? I'm sure we wouldn't be playing like we are now if we hadn't... if we hadn't met Kuhn when we did. <sighs> I wonder, if I hadn't been PK'd on my very first encounter, the first day I logged into this game, if I hadn't met Ovan then, and if I hadn't met Shino, if we hadn't come across TriEdge, would I be laughing and enjoying this game like these guys are right now? Uh, what's wrong, Haseo? Oh, nothing. Of course, now that Kuhn is gone, there was no one around to organize Canard. So, why did he leave? I'm not really sure why, but he said something about not wanting to get us involved. Mm-hmm. And here I was, thinking that he was kicked out of the guild for flirting too much. Oh, that. That's Kuhn's illness. If we worried about it, we'd never be able to keep up. An illness, huh? <laughs> what? Kuhn is sick? Well, it's not life-threatening. Nothing you have to worry about. You! You're still here? 
Yeah, well, you never told me to leave. Stop standing in my blind spot. Oh, so this is the Terror of Dust blind spot, huh? Ugh. Now, now. Anyway, thanks for watching the store, Haseo. Yeah, sure. Business kind of sucked, though. Not at all. Oh, yeah. Do you have any idea what Haseo did while you were gone? What are you guys chatting about? Oh, you gave a little boy a birthday present? Wow, you're such a nice guy, Haseo. Yeah, I guess you are. Damn girl. Ugh, she really needs to learn how to shut up and... You see that? Everyone really does want to treat other people nicely. I think it's because people can be more honest online than they can in real life. Hey, Haseo, why don't you officially join Kennard? Huh? I mean, I think you've got some real leadership skills. And I second that thought. Come on, let's do this together. I think it's a great idea. Just act like you did before. Okay, fine, fine. But it'll be a name only. You got it? Hey, I'm a very busy guy. All right. It'll take a little time to process you, but you should get an email later on. Okay then, glad to have you, Haseo, our new guildmaster. Yay! <laughs> Haseo is our new guildmaster! Congratulations, Haseo! Wait, what's this about guildmaster? Like I said before, you have some real leadership skills, Haseo. Oh, this is your reward for watching the store. Here, see ya. Bye. I'll see you later. Now then, I better be going too. Go, leave already. Today we're having a meeting at Moon Tree to help the victims of trading fraud. Would you like to join too? No way. <laughs> see you later then.